Renly College's Associate in Applied Science degree in Industrial Electronics and Maintenance will prepare you for a career as an industrial technician or for a career as a biomedical electronics technician. When our students finish the program, the skills they will have developed uh, will be in the maintenance area, uh, dealing with electrical systems, uh, programmable logic especially. Uh, they will also have skills in welding, uh, hydraulics and pneumatics, mechanical systems, uh, precision measuring. Uh, we attempt to create a person with a large variety of skills so that they can work on a wide variety of machinery. The technology that we use in our classroom, used by our employers, uh, is the technology which they use to make their products, specifically pneumatics, hydraulics, mechanical systems, and it's all controlled by a programmable computer, uh, and so that's what we have in our classroom. I've always liked doing wiring, fixing things, uh, just keeping things up, building and inventing things. I graduated from Wind Lake in 1995, and I got the start with the industrial electronics uh, associate's degree there. I then transferred down to SIU in Carbondale and proceeded on with the electrical engineering technologies degree. Rindling College is not only just teaching me electronics, I'm also getting a, a basic understanding of fluid and power fundamentals and welding and, and uh, maintenance and machinery. Uh, one thing I really like about my job um, when I was with the technician and now with the lead technician is we aren't doing the same thing every day. Uh, it's a different job, a different task every day because uh, you have different problems that you're trying to solve and, and also improve uh, on our process and on you know how the machines are running. When I interview people, um, a college degree is always a requirement. Um, a technical degree is a requirement that I have because we know that the math skills and the logic skills and troubleshooting skills are more developed. One of the things we look for uh, is uh, the ability to uh, read schematics, uh, troubleshoot problems, uh, electrical troubleshooting, uh, logical troubleshooting skills. Um, we also deal with hydraulics and pneumatic systems, but the schematics, once you can read a schematic, then they, uh, they kind of transfer over to the other side too. And the career opportunities for a student with this degree uh, are virtually limitless. Uh, there is hardly any place in the United States that doesn't have some manufacturing somewhere, that doesn't have an industry that uses large industrial equipment, that industrial equipment breaks down and somebody has to be there and fix it. Our program graduates are employed at Continental Tire, Walgreen, Nasco Industries, you would be hard pressed to find an industry locally that doesn't have at least one of our graduates. Our goal is to place our students in entry level maintenance person. Uh, this student when they come out of our program they are ready to go to a specific industry and learn the equipment that they have. They have basically a toolbox ready to go to that uh, particular industry and learn the skills that are used in that industry. For a young man or a young lady considering the maintenance field, uh, the fact is uh, that people like me, baby boomers, are retiring in large numbers right now. And industry knows this. They see some of their most technically skilled people uh, either retiring or getting ready to retire. Industry knows this and these people have to be replaced in order to survive in industry. And they are planning ahead. Uh, they are looking for technically competent young people who can be trained to fill the shoes of the people who are retiring. When a student is in high school, they should uh, emphasize computer classes, uh, any classes where they develop uh, math skills, reading skills. Uh, I also encourage them to take uh, shop courses, uh, electricity and electronics. I took some house wiring classes, some shop classes, uh, drafting. Introduction to electronics and then advanced into uh, uh, electronics one and electronics two. The approximate starting salary for one of our graduates can range anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars an hour. In this area I think technical jobs uh, tend to be starting around the 30, 40 thousand a year range. It would very, be very easy uh, for one of our students to make uh, between fifty and seventy-five thousand dollars a year. Uh, maintenance people at a manufacturing facility are generally the ones who are first considered for any overtime. 
Uh, so if a person is willing to work the overtime, uh, they can make quite a bit of money. It's a great degree because you're learning something new every day. Rin Lake has one of the uh, best uh, programs around, I, as I understand, one of the best PLC programs. And the instructors are definitely hands-on with the students. Rin Lake College is ranked pretty high in electronics right now. Uh, it's rated one of the best in the state. And uh, the price, it's, you know, under $1,500. It's a really, really good program. The associate's degree, uh, minimum, is very well, or very good for this industry. I said the, the basic skills you get in uh, the logic classes and the troubleshooting skills and the ability to read schematics and understand them uh, is a major bonus for working in this industry. Additional information about Tech Prep and the Associate of Applied Science degree in Industrial Electronics and Maintenance can be found on our website.